So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this module the security it is a project and we have to cover the third task so for that if you are new to this channel make sure you are subscribed to the channel first of all you have to complete all the first and second course otherwise you may face issue for that i have already created a playlist first of all subscribe the channel and check the playlist share the playlist link in the description first you need to complete these two modules and then let's move to the third one okay so let's start the third one now you have to click on the launch and just follow the way i'm doing this will be step by step video so that you don't miss anything and you don't get any kind of error so now here from the app launcher just type sorry flows we have to type just type the flows and click on this flows now it will open it will take some time so wait for it so finally it is open now now from here click on all flows now after that what we have to do we have to just we have done this step now we have to just select this one basically we have to create check in guest flow so for that just on the search box you can just type like this or you can just paste it so just hit enter now just search the guest if you are unable to find here just copy the complete thing from here to here okay that was i was i was recommending because many times due to some spelling mistakes also we get some kind of error so just paste it and hit enter now you will see here create a chicken guest click over it just click on hit so once you have click on it now what we have to do we have to just make some changes so from here click on the open flow so if you follow the way i am doing you will definitely get the score many of the people are facing issues on particularly second lab also so for that you can check the description box and check the playlist now wait for this page to fully load now the flow builder is loading now here you have to just click on the unified link to one yes you heard it right you have to click on the unified link one and then there we have to do some changes and i will tell you why you are facing one kind of issue so just from here dismiss this unwanted pop up now here you have to just select default and for the object you have to come back to the lab instruction and you have to just copy it like this see we have to select unified link individual here multiple things are there in the same name only let me show you so here we have to click on this only but what you may do i will share you that here multiple unified link objects are present if you click on any one by mistake you may face issue on any other labs also so just you can paste it and just select this one make sure the names are correct name should exactly match like this now here okay you can see they have written also now here record id we have to choose individual and value will be contact record id so how you will do this step let me show you from the field let's type the individual id here multiple things are there unified and individual you have to select only individual and for the value what we have to select contact record id so for that copy the contact record id like this paste over here and click on it so basically we have added the value now we don't have to add a condition we have to add a condition for unified link too so you do not to complete this stuff. now just save it save it carefully basically once you have saved it you have to click on the wait a second click on the unified link to now here select data cloud object and for the object name again you have to carefully read out the name it's unified link individual ccid so for that first of all data source is default and from here you can just do one thing you can scroll like this here you can see multiple unified individual id is here but we have to click on unified link 
individual id so if you try to open like this you may get lost so what you have to do just here wait a second paste over here and you can see we got this one so you have to select like this or even if you are just searching like this make sure to cross verify the name from this manual instruction okay i hope you get it got it now once you have selected what you have to do we have to update the fields so how we have to update the fields you have to choose unified individual id as filter records and just click on it now for the value what we have to do enter this filter so basically copy carefully make sure there is no full stop etc only the bracket from where i have selected now tap on any place now again we have to add one more filter basically it will be as data source and it starts from external okay i hope you got it what we have to do here now here it will be data source object if you have followed the way i have done previously this course then only you will be able to find this data source object then tap on anywhere now here we have to sort it i think no we don't have to sort it we have sorted already now click on save once it is saved what you need to do you need to again modify another flow so for that just click on the reservation one now here reservation one we have to select data source object now again default and from the object what we have to select let me show you it will be external reservation so many of you guys were facing issues like you were unable to find the external reservation what you have to do you have to just watch the previous module so that you can enable it i am saying because all steps should be done step by step now here copy this value and for the filter record fields we have to choose contact id so just type contact id or just select it like this and value will be this now tap anywhere basically click on anywhere and then we have to make a filter basically we have to sort the data in descending order so just copy the sort value now come down here click on in descending now for the sort by just select this one okay you have to select the check in date okay and if the module gets updated it will be mentioned over here so this thing we have done now what we have to do we have to just add a condition also i think so first of all save it now we have to click on the event summary so basically this is the main part of this course so what you have to do you have to just try to come down you can do one thing you can minimize basically you can zoom out and you will be able to find the flows okay here you can see here are multiple forms you can modify but let's focus on to the lab only as of now if you want a detailed tutorial i'll make it now what you have to do just zoom out and here click on the event summary now it's open basically here we have to just add the value we don't have to make any modification so for that just copy the value like this okay copy it carefully paste on the value section and just tap anywhere click anywhere to be more precise now we have done all the steps of this flow now basically we have to click on save and then activate it so it's taking some time to save it now click on activate now once it is activated we have to do some other settings also so let's complete it together now we have to open the setup and turn on some settings so come here click on setup now here we have to just turn on the einstein setup from the box just type it here click on the einstein setup like this it's taking a bit so first of all turn on this toggle now we will move forward to the next step what is it we have to turn on einstein sales so just copy it again on the search box in the setup section click on this sorry click on the einstein sales yes we have clicked right only now we have to turn on sales email now we have to just uh, uh, enable the agent force agent 
so if you try to search it like this you won't get so what you have to do we have to just reload the browser okay sometimes it's not showing so first of all enable this like this and you can see here we have to enable the agent for agents also so how you have to find you have to just reload the browser window if you are unable to find over here so just reload it also in the lab it was mentioned that we have to reload it so that's why i am doing this step also now after that we will see what we have to do so meanwhile in case you haven't liked the video like it and do subscribe the channel too now on the agents you can see agent force agents click over it it will reload the page click on it basically click on agent force toggle on now this is finally saved now finally if you want you can move forward to the next step also but i think we don't require these steps so first of all let me do this step sorry these steps are compulsory sorry for the confusion you need to at least modify the agents okay so here we have to just create a new agents and update some settings so for that you have to just click on this actions now here click on new now for the action type it will be flow and it will be guest check-in now for the label name you have to just let me a second click on next basically, basically we have to do some modifications we have some important settings to turn on and turn off so what we have to do we have to just turn on this require input show in conversation and one more thing we have to update let me show you basically we have to deselect so loading on the top you can see just here just turn it off we have done all these three changes what three changes we have done these three so after that click on finish now we are done with this module i think so so let's check the score so we'll just verify the points and if you completed all the modules and projects so you'll definitely get a chance to win the hoodie if you are a part of this dream force challenge now for the remaining course as, as you have as you are present in this course maybe you have not completed and you don't know about the event so for that i will make a event video also it will be updated soon so just wait for it and in case of any issue do let me know in the comments thank you guys have a great day ahead let's wait for a few more seconds so finally it's done do like the video and subscribe the channel and i will see you guys in the next one